a large pharmaceutical organization with which ProModel has a long-standing and successful relationship, was developing a drug purification and manufacturing process for a crucial new vaccine. The organization was ramping up for multi-million dollar per month production and needed to optimize throughput and capacity. They had produced 12 lots during startup, 62 lots during the first year, and needed to increase the number of lots per year to 110. Many of the pieces of equipment that would be required to meet the production levels were very expensive. Therefore, it was important for them to determine if they could meet the predicted capacity with their current resources. For this type of product, this is a huge jump in production, and because of the complexity of the process, the number of expensive resources required, and the dramatic rise in production requirements, they knew simulation was the only possible way to accurately predict whether they could meet this quota with current resources. The customer and pro model project team developed a Visio-based process simulator model that consisted of over 140 activities and 14 sub-processes. The model allowed them to visualize conflicts and delays, assess resource requirements and levels of utilization, evaluate critical paths, and determine primary and secondary automation resource usage. For example, would they have enough clean-in-place and sterilization-in-place skids? The process simulator model was integrated into the ProModel optimization suite to allow use of SimRunner optimization. They also increased the value and usage of the model by adding candidate types to show additional conflicts that could result from using shared resources. Using the process simulator model, the customer was able to determine that they could successfully make their 110 lots per year quota without any additional resources. They also identified exactly what the capacity limitations were with their current resources and what resources they needed to purchase to exceed that capacity. They developed a prioritized plan for making the changes they required to optimize the production process, including automation of certain production line steps, an added buffer tank, and varying lot batch sizes and changeover policies. With this model, they determined that aggressive cycle time reduction to 2.5 days per lot over an actual year's production was possible.